So, something really bad happened the other day to the aquarium. I had just fed the fish and I was looking all over going, where is my yellow tang? And look. Oh no! That's not good, we gotta get him out. Turn off the pump and catch him. It's hard to tell what went wrong because his eyes are still very, they're not sunken or anything. I don't even know what happened. Since this new year, I do know that my tank has not been doing very well. I don't know what it is, but a lot of the corals kind of just died. So I'm thinking something to do with the water quality. And so I quickly did a huge water change to clean out the water and put new water inside. So we'll see if that can reverse some of the effects, but I feel like some of the coral is just like not doing very well at all. I'm not quite sure what's going on. The fishy seems to be okay. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, yellow tang fish are very, very hard to come by now. They are a very, very common fish found in Hawaii. However, Hawaii has now banned fishing for the yellow tang. Before, a yellow tang would cost around like $40 to $50, and now yellow tangs are going for about $200 to $300. Since the yellow tang has died, I will need to replace the fish with another fish in order to keep the ecosystem from breaking down. And so I quickly had to go to the aquarium store to find something. See ya! Ended up getting a fish that I had never gotten before, the pajama cardinal fish, as you can see right over here. And so when I got home last night, I did a water acclimation. Think look, there's fishies. By dripping a little bit of the water in, then you just take like a bowl or something and scoop out some of the water. And so that makes it more concentrated with the aquarium water. Say hi to all the other fishies. Okay. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna turn off the lights so you guys aren't stressed out. And here they are today. We gotta sneak up on them because they might be a little bit shy. But as you can see, there's one right there. He's swimming around. Oh, the other one's up there. It's hiding in the back. They still need to get used to us, but there's one right over here. There's one right there. So one of the important things to do before you get a fish from the aquarium store is to make sure that they're healthy and that they will eat. So a lot of the times you can ask the owner or one of the workers to try feeding the fish and watch very carefully to make sure that they're eating food. Let's try feeding them right now and see if they'll eat. Cardinal fish are carnivores, so they need to have some meaty foods. So we have these ocean eggs here that I'm gonna just squirt into the tank. Let's see if they eat it. Oh, there he goes, he's eating the food. Nice. That's step one. <laughs> well, it seems like he's going for it too. Anyway, that is what has been going on with the tank. It's still looking really pretty, but we gotta make sure that it gets back on track. I think it's time for us to start the vlog, yeah Gatsby? <laughs> Oh hey Gatsby! What's up? How are you doing today? How do you do? <laughs> Look at the shiny, nice, beautiful fur. Yes. Are you a corgi on fleek? You know what Gatsby's favorite spot to be pet is? His ears. Like under his ear area, right over here. It's like, oh, I like it. I like it. That side? This side? Yeah? Oh, yes. Oh. Good morning everybody! Today for breakfast I thought we would try making this Korean egg and mayo toast which looks really delicious in the air fryer, of course. I got some really thick sliced bread. First thing we need to do is put on our apron. Ta-da! <laughs> I got the Japanese style golden yolk eggs. We got our air fryer basket. We're gonna put some foil down. So we're gonna use the cup that we got. Just gonna smash down the center. Japanese mayonnaise has the consistency of like um, frosting. I'm just gonna sprinkle some sugar over it. Make like a little moat that goes around the edge of the bread. Ta-da! Salt. 
I will put the recipe in the description below. They also suggest that you take a fork and you kind of like poke the egg yolk a few times. Okay, we got it. Air fryer, 360 for seven minutes. Oh, and on the side, we can add some Portuguese sausage. Just like a Hawaii thing for some weird reason. This one says made in Hawaii. If you don't get like the Hawaii brand, it's not that good. In Hawaii, at McDonald's, they even have Portuguese sausage on the menu for breakfast. The toast is done, Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, that looks so good. We got the egg toast here, beautiful. And we got our Portuguese sausage on the side. Ooh. I think it needs more sugar. Okay, so I think the important thing is to make sure that the mayo to sugar ratio is good. It was like super mayonnaise-y. But when you do, it does taste really good. It's like sweet and savory. That's good. What a great way to start the day. It's time for me to play another ukulele song. In the comments below, let me know what song you think I'm playing. By the way, it's the clean version. Look at that sofa with all your toys on it. We have a tortilla, Gatsby. This is a tortilla. You gotta fold it like in Chipotle. <laughs> Look at you, you're a corgi burrito. <laughs> burrito. <laughs> He's a burrito. <laughs> wow. Corgi burrito gets a scalp massage. <laughs> wow, look at that train. He's like Rihanna at the Met Gala. <laughs> Except with a tortilla. I was watching this video on YouTube and they were talking about how important it is to start your day off well and in a good mood by surrounding yourself with things that make you happy in the morning. I was like, he's smiling. <laughs> I hang one up in the kitchen right over here. Ta-da! As well as in the bathroom when I get ready in the morning, right over here. If you get fatigued from the picture, every month the picture changes. So um, I think a calendar is like a really good way to always keep you in a really, really good mood. Which leads me to our Valentine's Day merch launch. Smooth. The new Valentine's Day card. We have some glitter embossed cherry blossoms over here. Of course, you can get a signed one with Gatsby's actual paw print. Sending some corgi love to you. You can put it like in your workstation. Just look at it whenever you want. Feel Gatsby's paw print if you get the signed one, of course. And let me just share with you the other things that are included in our Valentine's Day merchandise release. Ta-da! This is our Corgi on Fleek emblem t-shirt. This is Corgi on Fleek right there. It is printed on pretty much the highest quality cotton shirt available on the market, which is from AS Color. It is really nice, and it is like a heavyweight t-shirt, so it does have like a nice luxurious feel to it. Comes in these really nice colors. This is petrol blue and black. Also available in burgundy, navy, and faded blue. 
This is our new design that I've been working on, along with the sticker as well. This is a super high quality, durable sticker. You don't have to put it on your car. You can put it on um, pretty much anything. Along with the sticker, we also have our premium adult aprons. Those turned out super, super nice. We still have the kids aprons available too, but this one is definitely a step up in quality. And along with that, we have done quite a few restocks, including our Corgi on Fleek lanyard, the Ultra Soft Pocket T-shirt, the embroidered dad hats, as well as our Corgi Saurus Rex t-shirts, which are available in these new colors, Midnight Navy and Army Green. For those of you who don't know, it says Corgi on this side and Dinosaur on that side. And so at the end of the vlog, make sure to go to CorgiOnFleek.com. We have all of these t-shirts over here available. Although it may look like a lot, I have like about 10 in every color and size. And when you get your merchandise, make sure to tag me, hashtag CorgiOnFleek. Like this awesome fan right over here, Remy the Corgi Chef. Anyway, let's get on with the vlog. <gasps> Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the Monday And as the light startled our eyes We let go of disguise Okay, back to work. Today we're gonna do Japanese dinner. Gatsby, it's not for you, sorry. No, he's like, what? I have food for you, I already made food, but that's not for you, not right now. Here it is. Shioyaki Saba, which is mackerel, which I really like. Ooh. And I'm gonna make pork loin over here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is make the marinade sauce. Two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of sake, one tablespoon of mirin, grated garlic, and grated ginger. I just happen to have these pastes over here. Okay, so all they did was they kind of just like Ta-da! Looks pretty good. Okay, so then we are gonna marinate this for half an hour. On to the fish. I'm only gonna eat one side because we have the pork. We're just gonna put the rest of the sake on it. It has been a few minutes. You wanna dry the fish out, and then we're just gonna salt the fish. It's called shio yaki. Shio means salt. We leave it like that for a half an hour. Dinner time for Gatsby. Okay, it's been half an hour. Time for us to check up on the pork. It's super yummy. So we're going to sprinkle with potato starch. This will help make it a little bit more crispy. So usually you're supposed to deep fry the pork, but I'm gonna do it, of course, in the air fryer. Just make it a little bit more healthy. Spray the basket of oil. I'll just do two to see. I'm not quite sure how, um, how hot to make it. I'm just gonna do 380 for um, eight minutes and flip it at four minutes. Ta-da! Okay, next we are going to do the fish. Like so. 400 degrees for four minutes. As our vegetable, I'm gonna make some shishito peppers. Flying off all the peppers. Make sure all the sides are touching. Let's check on the fish. Flip it over, 400 degrees for four more minutes. We just cook this until it gets nice and blistering. Okay, the fish is done. In the oil. And then we're gonna add some salt, lemon, and the pepper. It's just time for me to plate everything. Got the mayonnaise, green onions on top, Japanese fish here. Okay, sabashioyaki pork, shishito peppers. Mmm. 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 Japanese mayonnaise really made it taste really good. Because of the potato starch and the air fryer, it made the outside really nice and crispy. Kind of like the soy sauce flavor with the mayonnaise actually tastes really good. And um, the green onions also add a lot. A lot of times when I go to the Japanese restaurant, I just order sabashioyaki, which is like, I know like the simplest thing, but I really like it. This is not as good as the restaurant one, I would say. I might have overcooked it a little bit. Overall, super happy with my meal. I haven't had Japanese food in a while. I love Japanese food. I am Japanese, by the way. I'm very happy. Yeah! Ready, set, go! Sean is here. We haven't seen each other in super, super long. And we are gonna be doing some animal shreds. Um, who's gonna act out first? Um, I can go first. I 
well, I mean, one of them already popped up as soon as I okay. clicked on the website. Okay. So I'm going with that one. Okay. Three, two, one. Go! I can't surf, but I know someone. Oh, oh, King Kong? Like an ape? A gorilla? Chim yep. Oh! <laughs> that was so easy. It was the first one that popped up. It's Stop! It was a seahorse! Oh. <laughs> oh. A chicken? It's a raccoon. Oh. <laughs> do the trash. Can. Yeah, what else would I do? Oh. What would you do for a raccoon? A shark? Yeah. <laughs> I know, you keep getting the easy ones. Driving. Is it deer and headlights? <laughs> Lion? Tiger? <laughs> A jaguar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 What? <laughs> Do it again. I can't. <laughs> like a squid? Oh my gosh, how are you this good? Oh my gosh, I got it. <laughs> I thought you were like trying to drop something. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Thanks, Sean, for playing. Yep. And you guys, if you don't know, Sean has a YouTube channel too. I'll put his channel in the description below, Sean Secrets. Who do you think did a better job at acting out the animals? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. That's gonna do it for us for today. If you want to get some Valentine's merchandise, it's now available at CorgiOnFleek.com. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Good night! Hey, Gatsby, check out this awesome fan! Yes, we look, I decorated it just for you! Go Corgi, it's your birthday. Today is